Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 21st Python 3 tutorial, and in this video we're going to talk about list comprehensions. Yeah, and so in this video I want to talk about list comprehension, and list comprehension basically gives us an alternative way to construct lists or dictionaries based on other collections. So I think the best way to explain this is to go through an example. So I've already created this list called prizes and it contains a list of monetary values which could be prizes to some kind of competition. Now on one particular weekend the boss comes to say we're going to have some kind of double prize money weekend bonanza. So what I want you to do is I want you to create a new list with the double prize money based on these values right here. So don't override this list but create a new list with the double prize money in it. So we could do this using a for loop and I'm going to show you that way first. So I'm going to create a new list first of all called DBL prizes and set that equal to an empty list to begin with. Then we're going to use a for loop to go through it. So I'm going to say for prize in prizes. So we're looping through this prizes list right here and we're referring to each one of these individual items as the prize singular. So inside this for loop, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to double the prize money and add it to this list right here. So I'm going to say dbl underscore prizes, which is that new list. Then I'm going to say dot append to add a new item to it. And the item we're going to add to it is the individual prize from this iteration around. So it could be 5, 10, 50, 100 or 1,000 doubled. So times two. So that will create this new list for us with the prizes updated, the double prizes. So let's print this out and see what it looks like. I'll say print dbl underscore prizes. So save that and I'm going to run this file by saying python comprehension.py. Okay, so now we get these double prizes in this list. Cool. So this has worked and this method of doing things is absolutely fine. But what I want to do now is show you the comprehension way. So I'm going to do a comment saying comprehension method and then underneath what we're going to do is a list comprehension. So same again, I'm going to override this thing right here, double prizes. So we're using the same list, but we're now creating it from scratch. And what we do is we place our comprehension in here and it looks something like this. So first of all, what do we want to appear in each element? Well, I want the prize times two to appear in each element. And then we say, what do we want to cycle through to create this list? And I'll say, I want to cycle for prize in prizes. So this is quite similar to a for loop, isn't it? I mean, this thing here is exactly the same here, but what we're doing is we're just adding this kind of calculation, price times two, to say what we want to be returned each time around in this list instead of this thing right here, okay? So we're doing it all in one line now. So this is gonna have exactly the same effect. We're gonna output price times two for prize in prizes. And that's going to create this list of double prizes. So again, let me print double prizes. I'll copy that and paste it down here, save it, and we're going to run this file again. And you'll see we get exactly the same. So first of all, we create it here and it outputs these. And secondly, we create it here and it outputs it here. So they're exactly the same. So this comprehension way of doing things does exactly the same job, but it does it in less lines of code. So some people prefer it for that reason. Okay, let's do another simple example. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do some squaring of numbers. So I'll create a nums list and that's gonna be equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then what we wanna do, first of all, is cycle through these using a for loop, right? So the first thing I wanna do is create a new list and this is gonna be called squared even nums. So all we're going to do is create a new list based on this one and we're just going to square the even nums and output that to the new list. Okay, so this is going to be an empty array to begin with. Then we're going to use a for loop and we're going to say for num in nums first of all. Then we're going to check if the number is even. So we'll say if and then num squared modulus 2 is equal to 0. Right, so if the squared number is even, if it doesn't have a remainder, then what we're gonna do is add it to this new list right here, okay? So we'll do a code block and we'll say squared even nums, then dot append, 
and we're going to append num squared, right? So then eventually what we can do is print out now the squared even nums to see if this has worked. So let's run this file again. And this time we see 416, 36, 64, and 100, right? So we're only outputting the numbers which when squared are even. Make sense? Okay then, so now let's look at the comprehension way of doing this because again, this is a little long. So let's give ourselves a little bit of room and we'll say here, comprehension method, if we can tag it. Okay, so now how do we do this? Well, again, what I'm gonna do is create the new list. So I'll say squared even underscore nums, and that's gonna be equal to this comprehension now. So inside here, what do we want to do first of all? Well, we wanna say num squared. That's what we wanna output. Now, what do we wanna loop through? So we wanna say for num in nums. But in the for loop, what we did is we checked if the squared number was even by using this little calculation right here, and then we only added that. Now we can do the same kind of thing over here at the right, we can add on an if statement. And we can say if, and then it's gonna be num squared modulus two is equal to zero. Make sense? So we add what we want to add to the list first of all, then what we're cycling through, and then any conditions. So if we want to add a condition to what we add to this new list, then we can add it right there. So right here we're saying we're only adding numbers from the original list if that number squared modulus two is zero. Make sense? So this is exactly the same now as this dude right here, but again, one line. So let's save this. And in fact, we need to print these. So we'll say print and it's gonna be squared even nums so let's save it again and let's run this now so again we get exactly the same result so there we go i mean these comprehensions are not something you necessarily have to use but they're just a way to easily create lists based on other lists instead of using for loops like this okay